TTC, what up, what up, what up? It's your boy, SunSnero6. Here, back at it. Um, first things first, I just want to say to all of you who commented on my video, Memorial for Marissa Pagley, I really, really appreciate it. All my friends really, really appreciate your support. A bunch of her friends have seen the video. Maybe even some members of her family have seen it too, and I'm pretty sure they all really, really appreciate the support that you guys have given them. Please keep them in your prayers and in your thoughts. If you are religious at all and you go to church or go to synagogue, please make a prayer request for her or something like that. Um, tonight, what I'd like to talk about is uh, the recent occurrence. This is my first football video, by the way. Tonight, I want to talk a little bit about um, the Chargers releasing LaDainian Tomlinson and the Eagles rele releasing, releasing Brian Westbrook. I'm a little surprised by both moves. First of all, because, you know, these guys have been faces of the franchises that they've been parts of for the last several years, respectively with the Eagles and the, uh, and the Chargers. But then again, after looking at it, I'm really not surprised. I mean, teams need to go in different directions if they want to get to the ultimate goal, and that's win the Super Bowl. And every team has to unfortunately release that kind of star franchise player at some point. It happens in every sport. And uh, here it's no different. I mean, Westbrook, great running back. As a Giants fan, he gets on my last nerve sometimes. But you know what? I think, unfortunately, it was time. He was getting hampered by injuries. He barely played this season. His production was a lot of times way down, and I think the Eagles have decided that it's time to hand the ball over and hand the torch over to LaShawn McCoy, who they think is going to be their new franchise running back. And For one, I agree with the move. I think, you know, Westbrook will find a home somewhere else. And... Uh, well, it's unfortunate for a bunch of Eagles fans because he's always been a fan favorite in Philadelphia. Um, it's time. It was just the time. The time was the time was right for this to happen. And unfortunately for you Chargers fans out there, the same goes for Tomlinson. Um, yes, he's a fantastic running back, but let's look at it this way: for the past couple of years, he has not been the Ladainian Tomlinson that we know and that we love. His production has been way down. He was averaging maybe three and a half yards a carry. I mean, it's not only very unlike him, it's very below average for most good NFL running backs. It's three and a half a carry. In addition, he's been battling injuries, and you've got another great back there in Darren Sproles, and you've got a couple other good backs. So, it's it was just time for it to happen. I mean, other teams have done it with other players as well. I mean, the Giants did it with Antonio Pierce. And it was just, it, just the timing is right. Now, what I, what I want to ask you guys in TTC is where do you think these guys will end up? Where I think both of them will end up is on teams that are kind of desperate to make a splash. They're desperate to make a splash and sign a big-name, high-priced player. Perfect example, the laughing stock of the NFL, the Oakland Raiders. I think one of these guys may end up in Oakland. As much as they may not want to end up in Oakland, because I think some of these guys would rather go to a championship contender. And I think some of these championship contenders will be looking for them. I mean, one team I can definitely think of that might have interest is the Patriots. I mean, their running game has been, hasn't been the best lately. You can correct me on this if I'm wrong, but I think they need a big name running back if they want to get back to being the team that they were two years ago before losing to the Giants in the Super Bowl. Um, I think another team that may be looking for a big name player would be maybe to augment somebody like Ray Rice. Maybe the Baltimore Ravens are looking for something like that. Or maybe not. Maybe they found everything they need in Willis McGahee and Ray Rice. 
And also the question becomes, like, what do you want? What do these teams want out of these guys? Do they want them to be a number one running back? Or would they prefer somebody to augment somebody who's already there? And if and are they willing to pay the price for just a second string running back? If they want to make if that's what they want to make out of these guys. What say you? Basically, what I want to say. So that's all. That's about it for now. And I just want to I just want to know what you guys think about this and who who do you think is going to go where and what do you think needs to be done? I'd love to hear from both uh, Eagles fans and. Uh, Chargers fans on this, if there are any out there on the TTC, feel free to, anyone feel free to comment on this video and tell me what you think, alright? And uh, also, a little disclaimer, Eagles fans, I may be a Giants fan, but I'm also a Syracuse Orangeman, so it's kind of hard for me not to root for Donovan McNabb, so I really don't have anything against the Eagles, except for, of course, when they play the Giants. So, that's about it for now. And uh, looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say and comment, rate, whatever you guys want to do. And uh, talk to you soon. I'll be back with another video sometime soon. All right, guys? This is Sunsnare06, and I am over and out. Peace.